Thank you so much. I always dreamed about what it would be like to maybe win one of these someday, but I never actually thought that would happen. Uh, I sing country music. So the infamous Taylor Swift and Kanye West interaction at the VMA Awards. Taylor and Kanye's relationship can be described as volatile at best. That beef has been going on for too long and since then, Taylor has hit back at Kanye several times for his rude behavior. But it doesn't end there. Taylor has also taken it upon herself to speak out against Sean Diddy Combs and we're going to be getting into all the details. It all started when the rapper ambushed Swift's acceptance speech for video of the year at the 2009 MTV VMAs, for which he later apologized. Then, in 2016, West released the track Famous with the controversial lyrics, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. Swifties were outraged and West's then wife, Kim Kardashian, came to his defense by sharing a phone call between West and Swift that seemingly proved the rapper and the cruel summer singer discussed the track ahead of its release. More than 10 years after the night that started it all, here's the complete timeline of Taylor Swift and Kanye West's longtime feud. September 13, 2009, Kanye West interrupts Taylor Swift at the MTV Video Music Awards. The moment that started it all, when Swift, was awarded the Moon Man for Best Female Video for You Belong With Me in 2009, West climbed the stairs to interrupt Swift's acceptance speech with a now infamous proclamation. Yo, Taylor, I I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. Shortly after, a stunt Swift told reporters that at first she was excited, but then it all went up in smokes. She, you know, made it since I started, mm -hmm. and it was time to, you know, take a break and just develop more as a person, as a creative, and focus in more on like my thoughts, and my ideas, and what I wanted to bring, just what I wanted to bring to the world. Mm -hmm. Just, just for your whole world to completely crash off of a, a moment of sincerity or alcohol whatever or whatever it is to lose <laughs> those don't usually go together but yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> usually the alcohol yeah. rules out the sincerity part yeah. um, <laughs> but but it was it was it that you had been drinking is that why you think you i mean there's probably lots of reasons but do you think you just decided i'm just going to get up and say something right now and i feel like in some ways like i'm a soldier of culture and i realized that no one wants that to be my job, and, and, and I'll never go on stage again. I'll never sit in a award show again, but will I feel convicted about things that really meant stuff to culture that constantly get denied for years and years and years and years? I'm sorry. I will. I cannot, I cannot lie about it in order to sell records. I well, cannot, you know? I hope you don't mean that. I hope you'll be in an audience again. I hope you'll perform at all the, the shows, and you're, you're too important, and all of it is important in culture. Uh, you know, it's just an entertainment show. So don't ever say you're not going to sit in that audience again. We want to see you there. We want to see you entertain. We want to Later on September 15th, 2009, Taylor Swift reveals that Kanye West called her to apologize, also saying that the support that she got from artists and fans pushed her to accept the apology. September 12, 2010, Taylor Swift performs Innocent, a song rumored to be about Kanye West at the MTV Video Music Awards. Swift performed Innocent off her album Speak Now at the 2010 MTV VMAs. The song is set to to be about the rapper, it's alright, just wait and see. Your string of lights is still bright to me. Who you are is not where you've been. You're still an innocent, it's okay. Life is a tough crowd. 32 and still growing up now. And in February 8, 2015, Kanye West and Taylor Swift reunited at the 2015 Grammy Awards. The pair were photographed together at the awards show, which sparked rumors of a potential collaboration that West was quick to humor in an interview with Ryan Seacrest. She wants to get in the studio and we're definitely going to go in, he said. Any artist with an amazing point of view, perspective, fan base, I'm down to get in the studio and work. I don't discriminate. And in August 30, 2015, 2015, Taylor Swift presented Kanye West with MTV's Video Vanguard Award at the MTV Video Music Awards. Kanye West gifted Taylor Swift flowers after the 2015 MTV Video Music Awards 
in August 2015. Well, they came wearing everything from full gowns to close to nothing. Music's biggest stars stepped out for the Video Music Awards last night. The big winner was no major shocker. Taylor Swift walked away with a total of three awards, including Video of the Year. With more than 50 million views online, her music video for Bad Blood took home the top honor last night. Not only did she wow crowds with her wins and a performance, she also played nice with rapper Kanye West. Sure, he shamed her at the same award show six years ago, but now Taylor says that that's all in the past. Kanye defines what it is to be a creative force in music, fashion, and, well, life. Kanye West went on to accept the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award last night, and in case you missed it, he also used his acceptance speech to announce that he'll be running for president in 2020. We'll just have to see how that goes. And on February 9 of 2016, Kanye West debuts Famous at his Yeezy show featuring a dig at Taylor Swift. West's Famous from his album The Life of Pablo debuted at his Yeezy show on February 9, 2016. And on February 15, 2016, Taylor Swift responded to Kanye West during her Grammy Awards acceptance speech. The singer got the last word for the moment when it came to the famous incident. Upon accepting her Grammy for Album of the Year in February 2016, Swift indirectly addressed West's famous lyric while simultaneously delivering a super empowering speech. I want to thank the fans for the last 10 years and the Recording Academy for giving us this unbelievable honor. I want to thank all of my collaborators that you see on this stage. Mostly, I want to thank um, my co-executive producer, Max Martin, who has deserved to be up here for 25 years. And as the first woman to win Album of the Year at the Grammys twice, I want to say to all the young women out there, there are going to be people along the way who will try to undercut your success or take credit for your accomplishments or your fame. But if you just focus on the work and you don't let those people sidetrack you, someday when you get where you're going, you'll look around and you will know that it was you and the people who love you who put you there. And that will be the greatest feeling in the world. Thank you for this moment. From then on, West's then wife, Kim, somehow got involved in the feud and put a target on her back. She defended her then husband, saying that Taylor actually allowed Kanye to use the lyric he wrote about her in Famous, which Swift completely denies but doesn't blame Kim at all and understands the pressure she must have felt to repeat what she was told to say. Taylor then proceeds to announce a new album almost a year after Kardashian exposed the secretly recorded phone call on her Snapchat between her then husband, West, and Swift seemingly references Kanye West's feud reputation. Her album was a huge success, selling two million copies worldwide within one week of release. In the US, the album sold roughly 700,000 copies after one day of availability and 1.05 million after four days. Looking back at their feuds, the singer-songwriter was put through hell for a significant amount of time. She says feud with Kanye West and Kim Kardashian felt like a career death. Make no mistake, my career was taken away from me, she told the outlet. You have a fully manufactured frame job and an illegally recorded phone call, which Kim K edited and then put out to say to everyone that I was a liar. Swift continued, that took me down psychologically to a place I've never been before. I moved to a foreign country. I didn't leave a rental house for a year. I was afraid to get on phone calls. I pushed away most people in my life because I didn't trust anyone anymore. I went down really, really hard. Moving on from this long and bumpy Taylor and Kanye feud, Let's take an even bumpier road and talk about Diddy. We all know about now that Diddy is involved in some serious criminal activities. Some have even sent him to court due to the lawsuits that were filed against him by his many sexual assault victims. Even a tape obtained by CNN of him beating up his ex-girlfriend Cassandra Ventura was released, sparking outrage among fans and celebrities alike, calling his behavior monstrous and unacceptable. Since then, many high-profile celebrities like LeBron James, Wendy Williams, 
Williams, Stephen Curry, Kim K, and many more have all cut ties with Diddy, or even distanced themselves because they know the type of stuff that goes beyond the public eye, and they're predicting Diddy's downfall pretty soon. Taylor Swift was one celebrity that didn't particularly comment on the situation and saw a video of her memorable reaction to Sean Combs' performance at 2023 VMAs has resurfaced. The entertainment industry was left shaken earlier this week when Homeland Security raided Diddy's Los Angeles and Miami houses as part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. The 54-year-old star wasn't present at the time of the raids and wasn't arrested, meaning he was free to jet away from all the chaos back at his home with all his drama. Please. Of this, as you can see, potentially law enforcement officials and other officials just outside of a gate, this on a street uh, near the Beverly Hills area, of course. We're following it very closely on Live Now from Fox. And of course, we were watching this. We didn't know exactly what we were seeing at the time. So this is just a little bit ago as they, you can see a crowbar to get through this gate initially as well. The long guns and a multitude of people as you'll see, they'll zoom out a little bit just to see the amount of force they are using to get inside this home. And of course, the complex in which this home sits is a very expansive one for the American rapper and producer. You can see them checking inside of a vehicle. We don't know exactly what is involved, if Diddy's even there. We don't know a ton of information about this at all, but this was dramatic video coming in of the Los Angeles home there raided by Homeland Security. Some of those images there on the backs of them. We also saw uh, other images. I want to uh, kind of quickly move to what else we saw as people were led away, potentially in custody. Diddy's personal life and career has been thrust into the spotlight, including his VMA's appearance. Last year, Diddy took to the stage at the annual Music and Video Awards for the first time in 18 years, where he was honored with the VMA Global Icon Award. After accepting his award, Diddy took to the stage to put on a show for the star-studded crowd where this resurfaced Taylor clip took place. Taylor was seen getting very excited as she jumped up and down as the now disgraced rapper took to the stage. The bad blood hitmaker then threw her hands up in the air and danced around with her pal Sabrina Carpenter, which went on to be a viral clip. Reactions from fans varied from disappointment to surprise as to why the singer is seen excited to a Diddy performance especially after the things that have come out and continue to come out against him. Fans took to Twitter or X to comment on the situation one wrote, Why is Taylor Swift posing with P. Diddy? This was the same night she won a music award. People have known for years that P. Diddy has been involved with sexual abuse scandals, drugging people with drinks to rape them, and now he's being investigated by the DHS in a lawsuit that claims he's running a pedophile sex trafficking ring. But the VMAs did take place before the raid, and all the allegations took place. Everybody been talking about the puppy situation. First, I'd like to pray for his family, his daughters and his sons, you know, his kids, basically. That's never a good sign for nobody to cheer about when it comes to kids or, you know what I mean, being handcuffed. It's a bad day for hip-hop, for the culture, for black people. Because when one looks bad, we all look bad. Because that's, that's definitely not nothing to cheer about. But I tell you what, Puffy, your life is in danger. Because you know the secrets. Who's involved in that little secret room you guys participate in? So, you know they're going to get you if they can. The star has yet to comment on the situation, and who knows when she will. You're the only one that's inside your brain, feeling all of your anxieties and the voices that are telling you that you can't be who you want to be, or that you're not who you want to be, or that you want to be more like that other person over there. Let me tell you, people are mean to each other, but no voices are as mean as our own voices are to ourselves. Every day, when you look in the mirror and your mind is telling you all the things you're not, if those things are, you're not cool enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not popular enough, you're not successful enough, you're not special, you're not wanted, you're not unique, those are not the things you are not. Let me tell you the things you are not, okay? You are not somebody else's opinion of you. 
Taylor has gone through hell and back with her feud with Kanye. She has dealt with a lot of backlash and criticism from both the public and Kim K. All that while dealing with Kanye himself, which is already a more enough amount to deal with. Then you have Diddy, the man making the most headlines these past few months. And Taylor has yet to address him or his situation. Maybe the star has decided to silently take a step back and not get herself involved in these types of situations anymore. Because she's already had enough from West. Or maybe she's too busy focusing on herself and her career for the time being, waiting for the right time to look at other things. Time will tell.